Hello fellow game devs and welcome back to Byte Group. In the past couple months, we've been getting a lot of questions from game devs about Apple's new iOS 14 requirements. Like, how do I make sure my app is compliant with the app stores? How do I make sure that my SDKs for ads, analytics, and attributions are set up correctly? Or do I really need to be writing Objective-C to communicate with Unity libraries? To make a clean, easy solution, Viper released a bite-sized SDK, which has a Unity custom completion handler, which will handle your app tracking transparency library, so you don't need to handle any custom native iOS code. Real-time analytics, so you can start automatically tracking your game's most vital KPIs, and easy to set up remote configs, so you can update your games remotely without having to ship a new build to the app stores. In this video, we'll be setting up the bite-sized SDK so that we can implement the app tracking transparency custom handler. And with that, let's head right in. We're going to jump straight into the tutorial, into the Unity editor, and to start off, we're going to be going into uh, Unity and importing the Viper package. Now, you can get the Viper package either in the description down below or heading to our Viper IO GitHub. So let's go and start importing it in. All right, now that we have it imported, let's start uh, setting up our Byte Brew settings. Now to start setting up our Byte Brew settings, all we're going to do is go into Window, Byte Brew, select Byte Brew settings, enable the platforms that you guys want to use. And since this is a, a app tracking transparency, we're going to enable iOS settings. And then we're going to hop in into our dashboard and go to the app that we set up on our Byte Brew dashboard and copy the game ID and SDK key. All right, once you guys have that done, now go back into your startup scene, your loading scene where you guys will initialize your SDKs. And we go into the window, go back into Viper and say create Viper game object. And this attaches all the Viper settings already configured. And all we need to do is initialize the SDK and into the script that you guys will be using. We already created a script called startup script and just, just double click on that. And for app tracking transparency, let's first import the Viper library. And if you're going to be using a iOS and an Android app, let's set up uh, code blocks to make sure it's the correct run times. And then let's make one for Android, if you guys have Android. All right. Now we can go straight back into our Viper documentation and then we can just copy this piece of code for requesting app tracking transparency as well as initializing the Viper SDK. Let's format this right. And then if you guys need to initialize for Android, all you do is just copy this. And you put that into there. Now let's go back into our Unity editor, let those codes compile, and then let's put in the script into our main scene. Let's call this a load object. And let's add the startup script. And that's how you initialize Bytebrew using the app tracking transparency to make sure you get the right consent status, as well as then you can initialize any other SDKs here, like if you had an add analytics or attribution SDK. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.